Hello guys, here Mr. G with another video, this time for the Cray 11 and this one is about electric circuit. Obviously, Cray 11 electric circuit is also applicable to the Cray 12, okay? This one was question 7 from the Eastern Cape question paper done in November 2022. And the question say, in a circuit diagram below, the battery has an EMF of 6 volt and nickel volt internal resistance. So this one is the circuit, and then you have a um, 6 volt EMF. Now there is another two resistors there, the 4 and the 2 ohms are connected in series, but them are connected in parallel to the 3 ohm. Okay, and then there are two ammeters and one voltmeter. Now question 7.1, calculate the effective resistance in the circuit. Effective resistance in the circuit they refer as the total external resistance. That is the question. External, then grade 11 you only do the external resistance. Now in this in this circuit, let's do the following. Let's first look what is going on here. Well the current is coming all the way and when the current comes here there is a common a terminal there in which the current split in two parts it means that these two sides of the circuits are in parallel then the current comes back here and eventually at this point come back together at one uh, in one direction okay at one point so the actual fact here the resistors are in parallel however these two of the four and the two ohm are in series you can see the current have only one path Way. So they are in parallel and within the parallel there is a serious a serious connection. So we can answer 7.1.1 right here, maybe more a little bit up here. Let's move it up here. So save space and not go to a new page if we don't need to. So now they are in parallel. So we're going to write the formula for the parallel connection and guys um, it is right here. It is right here all the formula for electric circuits right here this is the connection for parallel all right so this formula is to calculate the effective resistance in a parallel connection and that is the formula we are going to write in this point here one divided by rp is equal to one divided by r1 plus one divided by r2 you don't have to write this you don't want to but uh, sometimes they give mark for that so now we are going to substitute rp however what is the thing r1 is going to be in series so i'm going to write here 1 divided by um, 4 plus 2 plus the other one is 1 divided by 3 okay i hope you understand because these two here are in series okay so what we have here is 1 divided by rp is equal to 1 divided by 6 plus one divided by three. Guys, you don't have to do all these steps. You can you can skip steps. Step. And this one gives you that one divided by RP is equal to a half, and then RP is equal to a two. Oh. Right? There we go. Now, um, if anybody asks, how do you do that? You come to RP is equal to half, everything to the minus one and then you will get two ohm just in case somebody asks it, it will happen it may happen okay there will you can type this one in your calculator like that okay remember because the rp is the denominator here that is why we have to get to the negative one then you will get that answer okay so that is the question but now where are the marks here Yes, indeed, in this case, they're going to give you one mark for this formula, one for the substitution, and one for the final answer. There is three marks on it. Question 7.1.2, calculate the reading on a meter A1. And note the following. Well, well, let's, let's see something here. I wrote RP, that is the external resistance, the total external resistance. So you can keep it like that, okay? Now, reading of a meter A1. In actual fact here, the current comes all the way together. So you are calculating the total current of the circuit. So we are going to calculate, I'm going to do it on this side here. I'm sure it's enough space, 7.1.2. I'm going to calculate the total current of the circuit. Now, to do that one, we are going to use Ohm's law. And Ohm's law, once more, we go to the formulas. It is here. 
here is Ohm's law guys I'm going to write it exactly as it is there I always like to write the formulas as they are in the formula sheet just to not get confused and make sure I get the mark so R is equal to V divided by I that is the formula I'm going to use I'm going to use total R so uh, maybe I'm going to write here T T and T because I'm looking for the total current of the circuit note that here at this point all the current come together so it's the total current of the circuit the total resistance is what we calculated is a 2 the total potential difference is the EMF in this case is 6 and then the current that is what we are looking for and guys when you rearrange this one you get that this 6 divided by 2 and then a current will be equal to 3 amperes that is the answer here it is really uh, simple there is one for formula substitution and calculation another three marks question 7.1.3 calculate the reading of a meter a2 now a meter a2 is only reading the current that flows through this part of the circuit now something important here the potential difference in parallel is always going to be the same and because everything is in parallel here in terms of the whole connection the potential difference here will be 6 volt so in other words in other words the potential difference that goes through this side of the circuit as it's split is going to be also 6 volts as well as here at the bottom this V is actually 6 volts because the potential difference is the same in a parallel connection. I have done videos on this, please go and watch it, guys. It is a quite good. I recommend it. So, reading of a meter E2. So, to calculate the reading of the meter E2, we are going to use the same formula we have here, but only for this side of the circuit. So, I think I think I can do it here at this point because we are going to use the same formula there. I'm going to write here 7. 1.3 so r is equal to v divided by m i we are working with this side here okay so r is going to be 4 plus 2 because they are in c so i'm going to write it 4 plus 2 is equal to v which is 6 divided by i so i is equal to 6 divided by 6 and therefore i is equal to 1 ampere um, that is the answer there once more three marks one for this formula one for the substitution you can write straight here six if you want and one for the final answer that question is done and dusted calculate the power dissipated by the four ohm resistor now they want to calculate the power at the 4 ohm resistor so only by the 4 ohm guys this is quite simple i even think there's enough space to do it there because it is really short so power is equal to what do we know about the 4 ohm resistor well we know the current because we just calculated and is for both of them because they are in series and look here in the formulas how many formulas we have for power so all that those formulas are for power which one is the most suitable one well in actual fact we can use all of them which we have all the values but i recommend when there is a series connection use this one but all of them will work when i mean all of them i mean all of these three because we have the potential difference and we do have the current and the resistance so we can even do it here current square multiplied by resistance this one is equal to one square multiplied by a four and that will give me four what enough space to answer that very small question let's highlight all the answers so you know which ones are the actual answers once more formula substitution and answer the three mark for that one quite simple guys very very simple what is the reading of the volmeter v no calculation requires and we already answered that question here it is a one mark for saying that i just going to add that this one is question 7.2 
okay 7.26 volt and we explain is because everything is in parallel here and in parallel the potential difference are the same okay um a kettle is rated 1500 watt calculate how much a learner will pay for electricity for using the kettle for four hours escom charge one kilowatts an hour electricity at 2.05 run well this question is slightly different it's a little bit about it's about cost um but we let's see it's quite simple the formulas are not given to you there okay so now for 7.3 what you need to know you need to know that cost of electricity will be equal to energy multiplied by price okay the price guys is given to you there is nothing to do about price price is given to you is different everywhere in this case they are charging a 2,05 run that is the price that escon put for the electricity in eastern cape so we cannot change that one guys we cannot change that one now the energy where is the energy the only problem is that because this one is kilowatt an hour the energy must be in kilowatts an hour so now how do we calculate energy let's go to the formulas quickly now, here we are with energy. all this one all these ones are for energy or work okay but here is the one for power with energy related so this one is if you rearrange it you get that work is equal to power multiplied by time all right now they want it in kilowatts per hour it means we're going to use this formula but for that cost the power will be in kilowatt and the time in hour so let's come here and let's write the uh, the formula for power without looking for energy first power is equal to work done per unit time we are going to rearrange this one and we're going to have um, work is equal to power multiplied by time when we're working with cost the power must be in kilowatt and the time must be in hours because that is how they charge kilowatts per hour this is the price so that is why we have to convert okay now in this case they giving us the um, already the power in what this one here is the power we cannot work in uh, what we have to work in kilowatts okay and the time is already given in um, hours so that is quite simple energy here so let's calculate here the energy is equal to the power the power is 1000 watt but we have to convert it to kilowatt okay so um, if we convert it let's say power is equal to 1500 watt to convert you just um, divide by 8000 so it's 1500 divided by 1000 that will give you 1,5 kilowatt all right so we come in here we substitute is 1,5 multiplied by the time as being hour is already in hours okay and then we get we get six six kilowatt an hour and now we are coming back here we're coming back with that value there and we are going to multiply six multiplied by two comma zero five and that gives us 12 comma three runs that is the answer for this question 12 comma three run and that's it guys one for the formula one for the okay in this case they didn't give one for that formula they gave one for this formula for this formula here okay however if you write it like that you will get the mark because it's it is 
correct, okay? 1 for the substitution of 1,5 times 4, 1 for 6 times 2,05, and 1 for the final answer is 4 marks for this question. I hope it helped. It could be asked in the exam in terms of calculating cost. And guys, this is the end of question 7 and is the end of the question paper. However, we didn't look at the multiple choice. Um, it's maybe we should have a look to the multiple choice, make a video for those answers. There are like seven, let me see how many questions, seven questions on multiple choice. Maybe we'll look at that one before we move to a chemistry. But guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. It's a good paper. It's a lot of questions there. Uh, I hope it helped. Thumb up, subscribe for the channel. I'll see you next time, Mr. G here.